What's up, Reefers? My name is Alec, and today we're going to be talking about the 5 best beginner saltwater nano fish. Side note, all the fish are reef compatible, just in case you have a reef tank. Starting in at number 5 is the Royal Grandma. These fish require a tank size of 30 gallons or above. They are easy to care for and eat a variety of foods. For beginners, I would recommend a species only tank because they have been known to fight other fish besides their own. Make sure there's a lot of rockwood for the fish so they can hide and make sure you don't expose them to super bright lights. Their lifespan is about 5 years and they can grow to about 3 inches. Coming in at number 4 is the Firefish Goby. They are friendly fish that won't harm any other fish or corals. They are omnivores so they won't so they should be fed both meaty foods and algae. They need to be in a tank size of at least 20 gallons, but bigger is always better. These two fish do better in pairs, so you may want to get two. Also provide something for them to hide in, such as rocks or just a plain old PVC pipe. They live to be about 3 years old and grow to be about 3 inches. Make sure you have a tight lid on your aquarium because they have been known to jump out. In the next spot at number 3 is the Pajama Cardinal. Just like the firefish, the pajama cardinals prefer to be in a group of two or more. They are mainly a meeting fish, so stuff like brine shrimp would be good for them. A good tank size for them is 30 gallons, and this should be held with other peaceful fish. Make sure to provide hiding spots for them, just so they feel comfortable. They live to be around 5 years old and grow to be, a, be about 3.5 inches. Coming in at the number 2 spot is the hyphen red badnet goby. They require a tank size of 10 gallons and can reach the size of 2 inches. Make sure to provide a nice sized sand bed and live socks, rocks so they can burrow. They can also be paired up with a pistol shrimp, but I would not recommend this for a beginner. They are carnivores so they will eat meaty foods, but will also eat some algae and zooplankton that is growing in the tank. And of course the number one spot is the Ocellaris clownfish. They prefer a tank size of 20 gallons, but they would fit in a 10. One of the cool things about clownfish is that they how they host an anemone. Though, I would not recommend an anemone for a beginner. And if you do get one, wait one year at least so the tank can cycle. Clownfish are peaceful fish, but are aggressive eaters, eating mostly meaty foods. I would recommend keeping one to two but not over two because the, there'll be one that'll be left off and picked on. They are a very hardy fish and why that's why they're at the number one spot. Anyways, thanks for watching. Keep reefing. See ya.